it became clear that threat sophistication had evolved to a point where some warheads, because of their accompanying debris and decoys, could not be distinguished in time to be engaged by the long-range interceptor. A close-in terminal defense was needed. The answer? A new missile called Sprint. It would be so fast that it could rise to a successful intercept, even if launched after low-altitude aerodynamic target discrimination. In flight, Sprint would become incandescent. Its development required major technological breakthroughs. Sprint is gas ejected from its underground cell. Because of its very high acceleration rate, the missile had to withstand unprecedented G-stresses. Sprint was developed by the Martin Marietta Corporation, Orlando, Florida. Special coating materials dissipate heat as they ablate and thus limit temperature rise in the missile structure and components. Developmental flights were conducted at White Sands. Not all were successful. It was, after all, a missile whose performance requirements presented staggering demands. However, recovery and examination of flight hardware revealed causes of failures. Isolating and correcting the defects led to a series of spectacular successes. The MSR is also capable of controlling Sprint missiles located as much as 25 miles from the radar to provide greater area coverage. These sites contain only Sprint missiles, which are launched and guided via communication links with the MSR. The interceptor warhead needs only to be detonated in the vicinity of the threat to neutralize it. The re-entry vehicle comes in from the right. The photography is repeated using stop motion. Because of its speed, the incandescent re-entry vehicle appears to be elongated. These exercises demonstrated the system's ability to control sprint interceptors launched from a remote location. Some 150 intercepts and tracking data missions were conducted with about 90% success rate. The last 21 missions were completely successful. During the entire Kwajalein effort, most of the missions were observed and recorded by personnel and equipment on Russian ships. The Soviet Union thus stayed fully aware of the progress and success of safeguard tests. And Sprint. 